hey, 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 my Coffee with Brenna friends, you can grab that beverage and that Bible because it is time, of, technically it's time for Coffee with Brenna. However, you may be able to hear in my voice that I'm just a little bit sick. And so I'm not going to do my video today telling you my word of the year because basically every 10 words I have to stop and cough a lot. I'll be editing those out. Thank you. My family and I have what I'm guessing is the flu. It's kind of funny because I went back to the gym today for the first time and the woman who works at the desk knows me and I haven't been there in almost a week, which is, I don't do that. I'm there three or four days a week, usually four. Oh, where you been? We have, I think we have the flu. We have the flu. How do you know you have the flu? So when I was a kid, you just got the flu and there wasn't like this fancy test so that you know you have the flu. You just had the flu. Well, I have obviously some congestion. I'm coughing. I had a fever. I had body aches. I was in bed for most of four days and I'm on day seven now. And thankfully I haven't had a fever in a while, but and I also passed it on to almost my whole family. My husband is last man standing. When you see this on Friday, you can pray for him. In any event, we've been sick. And not only did I want to put my thoughts together for you all when my voice sounds a little bit better, but I'm hoping to record a song that I wrote recently too. Definitely no singing is happening right now. But I'm really excited about 2024. Not because anything happens when you flip the calendar, though it is leap year, so that doesn't happen all that often. And I actually have a friend who was born on February 29th. But even we are on January 4th when I'm recording this because there's no way I could have recorded a video yesterday. My voice sounded so much worse. I just sense God is going to move this year like he always does. And you know what? The other thing I want to say is today the fourth when I'm recording this is the 25th anniversary of me becoming a follower of Jesus Christ. That's worth a video, right? Let's say, yay. Thank you, Jesus. I can't even imagine. I was writing January 4th in my journal and I usually do my quiet times in this plaid chair back here, but one of my sick kids had come in here, sat down and fallen asleep. So I was doing it in the living room with my daughter, who is nine, asking me questions about every 10 to 15 seconds. So as I wrote down the date, I'm like, do you know what January 4th is? And she's like, your wedding anniversary. No, I said, it's been 25 years. You Since you got back from your honeymoon, one of the other kids said, no, we've only been married 21 years. Anyway, I can't even say how grateful I am. <sighs> that Jesus got a hold of my life. And I'm just going to leave you with a scripture. I actually encourage you to go read Psalm 34. I will post a link in the show notes to the version that I memorized. Well, okay. I was going to memorize the whole Psalm and I have at least 10 verses memorized, but the 10th verse is the lions may grow weak and hungry but those that seek the Lord lack no good thing. So a lot of people are sick right now. A lot of people are having really hard things happen already in 2024. Like I said, it's not like turning the page of the calendar actually does anything. <laughs> Except that, but his mercies are new every morning. And we have his promises to remind us things won't always be easy. But when we seek the Lord, we will lack no good thing. So before I have another coughing fit, I'm going to pray. And I will see you for a more full update next week. Jesus, thank you so much for my coffee with Brenna friends. I thought I was going to have to make one of those placeholder videos where I don't actually talk at all, which I've had to do twice, I think, since starting Coffee with Brenna four years ago. But you gave me enough of a voice to at least say 
good morning to pray for them. And I just pray, Lord, that they would continue to seek the Lord and trust you for the good things that you have for them. In Jesus' name, amen. One of my sick kids just came in and asked me for something, so I'm going to wrap this up real fast. But I love to hear from you. And next week, look forward to hearing my word for the year. Till then, thanks for joining me for Coffee with Brenna.